Hello, everyone. Welcome to week 14 of my 100 week R challenge. My name is Michael, and I used to work as an engineer. I have been teaching myself art for the past two years. Through this 100 week R challenge, specifically, I am exploring my personal artistic voice. I also document and share this journey in my videos. This week, I continued studying and practicing abstract acrylic painting. I recently signed up for David Kessler's Abstract Painting Academy class. It has been very helpful to get me loosened up and paint more expressively. I have learned about the fundamentals of design from many resources before, but it's very valuable to see how a professional artist interprets and applies them to abstract painting. This week, I first painted several black and white value studies, which were super easy to do and always turned out looking great. Also, following last week's complementary color painting, this week I investigated painting with triad colors using a red violet, yellow orange, and blue green color scheme. I started this first painting without any planning, and quickly the painting looked dull and amateurish. Then I realized that the black and white value studies can be used as value references when I paint in color. Therefore, this 9 by 12 inch painting is based on this value study. And this 12 by 9 inch painting is based on this other value study. I'm glad to see how they turned out. I think before I gain more experience in abstract painting, I should certainly plan a bit more before putting down colorful paints on a canvas. It's also important to note that it's getting easier for me week by week to paint on canvas with acrylics, and I can already spend more brain power on the art itself instead of the materials and the techniques. This week, I also spent several days on activities unrelated to painting. I have been very reluctant to better manage my financial investment because I have never been interested in it. I was content with receiving a monthly paycheck and saving money into a bank when I was an engineer. Of course, as a responsible adult and a soon to be small business owner as an artist, I need to learn more about how to better manage and invest money. On that note, how to sell art and turn my newly discovered interest in fine art into a career needs a lot of knowledge as well. I also discovered Webflow this week. I have always been interested in making beautiful websites, and I was glad to learn that Webflow could make remarkably unique and interactive websites without much coding required. I might give my website a complete redesign in the near future. Who knows, one day I might take on website design as a side hustle as well when I gain more experience with it. Another thing I spend time on this week is learning about the 3D program Blender. I've always been super drawn to 3D modeling and animation, and briefly dreamt about working for Pixar once. I also took three classes in college on architectural rendering and animation. When I was imagining my new website design, I thought it would be really nice to utilize CGI to showcase my art in meticulously generated modern interiors instead of using generic interior photographs and composite my art onto them using Photoshop. All of these activities and learning are they really helpful for my life and career, or are they just distractions? It's hard to tell. At least right now, I think they're interesting and worthwhile to do. I started my YouTube channel trying to share my struggles of finding my personal artistic voice. Now I feel I'm more certain about abstract art, and I'm trying to think of ways to improve my YouTube channel and provide more consistent, entertaining, and educational content. If you have any advice on this, please comment below. As for this week's painting time lapse, I'm going to show this one painting. I hope you would enjoy it. If you are interested in any of the paintings I completed this week, please check out more information on my website at michaelnr.com. Thank you for tuning in for the 14th week of my 100 week art challenge. Please give this video a thumbs up and comment below with any questions or advice. To follow the journey of me finding my personal artistic voice through this 100 week art challenge, please subscribe to my channel. Please also share this video to people who might benefit from my experience and exploration. Thank you and have a wonderful one. I will see you next week.